My mental illness is somehow my fault. Mental illness can happen to anyone because the human body is a fucked up mess. God had to nerf me because I was too powerful. Howdy partners. I want a partner. <laughs> me too kiddo. Me too. You see Stephen Hawking, Stefan Carl, Stan Lee and Stephen Hilmberg die in the same year. Stephen King chuckles. I'm in danger. Teacher leaves the class for 0.003 seconds. I sat down to lunch today crying from laughter so hard because of this kid. Like he'd really be out here with his cargo pants sagging down to his knees. What is wrong with my school? I never understood the appeal of this. How does this look cool again? Minecraft redstone tutorials. Electricians. To be fair, Minecraft Redstone is a step in the door if you're into that. My friends say Reddit is for normies and look on Instagram for memes. Send help. I recommend getting new friends, bro. I'm not gonna bother saying it. All I'm gonna say is, what is your phone number? All right, that's what it says. Did this kid in my old Spanish textbook call someone and ask for their phone number? Yes. Yes, they did. Boyfriend took me to get undies and he wanted to embarrass me. So he said real loud, I can't wait to rip these off with my teeth, and I replied with, Seriously? You need to stop. You're my brother. I won. Me. Depressed after getting rejected by a girl. R slash teenager users. First time. Dashing through the halls, with my teacher up my ass. I have to take a text. I really hope you pass. This school is actually hell. I can't even spell. You get to class right now, you wanna make the bell. Jingle bells kill ourselves, hit me with a sleigh. I'm so dumb this isn't fun, there goes my GPA. Annoying people. Stealing your hat off your head and not giving it back. Is this funny? Seriously, and people who did this during No Hat No Play? Fuck you, alright? Fuck you. I'm mad. Here's a solution. I don't want a solution. I want to be mad. Make Steven Hilberg's grave the number one grave from the One Crab's Trash episode. It's in the description, go give it a sign. Welcome to Club Penguin. Please select your age. Eight and under. 9 to 12, 13 to 17, 18 and over, <laughs> 18 and over. When your mum randomly enters a room at night and you only have a second to think of a sleeping position. Ooh, butter cookies, they're my favourite. Teachers of Reddit, what are some positive trends you have noticed in today's youth? A high school teacher here. The most admirable quality of the rising generation is their ability to take anything, and I mean anything, and turn it into a meme. And quickly. My god. The world. War is the only place to shoot a gun. America. Hey, give a little credit to our public schools. Are you under the age of 18? Yes. If under the age of 18, please state why. I don't know, my parents didn't have sex at the right time. How are you? Scene. 1109. Scene. 1109. Scene. 1109. Scene. 1109. Scene. 1109. Can you stop? Types of headaches. Migraine. Hypertension. Stress. When your parents want to talk about something. When you get to the car before your mum does and you're waiting for her to unlock the doors. When you're the only British kid in class during the American Revolution unit. Sips tea nervously. Straight people. I don't mind gay people. I just wish they wouldn't be so in your face about it. Straight people. My daughter actually submitted this feedback at school. Not sure if I should ground her or buy her an ice cream. Things my teachers can do better. Not use collective punishment, as it is not fair on many people who did nothing, and under the 1949 Geneva Conventions, it is a war crime. Wait, it's a fucking war crime? I mean that might not be 100% accurate, but now I gotta know. Holy crap, collective punishment is a war crime. And according to the exact legal phrasing, no protected persons may be punished for an offence he or she did not personally commit. Collective penalties and likewise all measures of intimidation or of terrorism are prohibited. This technically counts as students are civilians and thus considered a protected person. So yes, collective classroom punishment breaks the 4th Geneva Convention and she should be rewarded for setting up for human rights and doing her research. Power move. Accuse your teacher of a war crime using knowledge they supplied you with. When you google a homework question and you find the answers to an entire worksheet. I came looking for copper and I found gold. Homework. Unfinished. Sleep schedule. Ruined. Self-esteem. Low. Body. Hurts. Life. A mess. Ye. Ha. Using the normal template. Using a disturbingly bad MS Paint version. Stealing someone's drawing of it. Using a random picture you found in your physics textbook that vaguely resembles the meme. November sucks. Man, everyone is sick. It gets dark at 5pm. It's cold as shit. 
I have 1200 assignments due at the same time, and I've had this bitch ass headache for three days now. Hey, you forgot the most important thing. No fucking not November. Thank God it is over. If you're ever sad, just remember that the world is 4.543 billion years old and you somehow managed to exist at the same time as Guy Fieri. When you Google one question and find a Quizlet on the whole test. Hard, Cuphead. Harder, Dark Souls 3. Hardest, actually doing my homework instead of procrastinating. When your professor announces the last exam won't be curved. Guy with a 92. Girl with an 85. Guy with a 78. Me with a 52. Employer. Pays minimum wage. Employee. Gives minimal effort. Employer. B11. Sorry, I thought this was a vending machine, because you're looking like a snack. Rather than catching a fish with this, I'll just find a fish and I'll talk him into suicide. R slash teenager users. People above 18 can't boast on this sub. People under 13. Being forced to work with the opposite gender on a project. Social anxiety. Studies for three hours. Me. Takes a break for 10 minutes and checks my phone. My parents. Getting four hours of sleep versus eight hours of sleep. Question, can you fart into it and blow it in someone's face from across the room? Answer, I can confirm this. I received one of those as a Christmas gift while it's deployed. Naturally, it took only a few minutes for two of my soldiers to attempt firing a fart through it. The key is to have a gunner cock and hold the weapon while the loader does his thing. It took nearly two full seconds for the blast to cross the tent, resulting in the Major suddenly flailing his arms and yelling, Oh god, I got it in my mouth. 10 out of 10, best present received that year. When you thought the answer was B on the exam, and everyone says it's A. So that was A? Child, my stomach hurts. Mums, it's because you're on that phone. I love you a little more every day you send me a meme. When you get assigned seats and your homie is right next to you, your crush, yourself, not liking you putting my grades up for adoption because I can't raise them myself. Gay detector. Girls complimenting each other. Guys complimenting each other. My friends walking together on the sidewalk. Me behind them. Oh, Trump looks so sad. Don't come to school tomorrow. When a girl asks you out and you say yes, but then she replies it was actually a friend sending that message. Ah slash that happened. People who say present in class instead of here. People who write seven with a line through it. Me when gets an erection in front of my class. Oh man. Me when I realize my pippy is so small no one will notice. Yeah man. Understanding English. Understanding French. Understanding Chinese. Understanding that you don't love you no more. Like if you're under 18. Lol. When you're already complaining that 2018 was bad, but then you remember you complain every year. And maybe your life just sucks. Damn. Successful people. Unsuccessful people. Teachers that free hole punch all their handouts. My friend uses Reddit. Let's get this to the front page to mess with them. R slash teenagers. When you do math problems entirely wrong but still get the right answer. Suffering from success. Huberty, can you give me hormones? To reproduce? Yes. Actually cries in the shower like a boss. Depression time. When the teacher yells at you for having your phone out but Bobby is smoking crack in the corner. Kids with hoods on. Teachers. Waking up. Do something. Fuck it up. Hate yourself. Go to bed. Wake up. Do nothing. Feel like shit. Hate yourself. Go to bed. Wake up. Hate yourself. Go to bed. Parents, our kid's a teenager now. I'm afraid pretty soon he's gonna be having sex, drinking, and goes to parties. Me at age 20. Valid points in an argument. Me. I'm the parent. I make the rules. Walking with your friends. Walking behind your friends because they forgot about you. When a second grader sees their name in a math problem. Applaud my supreme power. I miss my dog. He's not lost or anything. It's just that he's at home and I'm here at school. Have a low quality photo of him. When you use a semicolon in your essay, become friends with an extremely attractive girl who is exactly your type. She has a great personality, is very compatible with yours. She's a lesbian. She's a lesbian? Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. To celebrate Christmas, we are doing a giveaway for $50 that will either be directed to your PayPal or you can get it in a gift card if you win. So to enter that, you just gotta follow me on Twitter, at softcoreyt, and I'll pick somebody on December 24th. And uh, yeah. So I wanted to address some of the criticisms I got from my last video. Uh, it was just meant to be for fun. It's literally just me and my mate in a Discord call having fun. Um, the point of the video, just to be more laid back, it wasn't a more traditional uh, Reddit video that I normally do. You guys seem to fucking hate it, so I'm sorry. 
I was just doing some content I would personally enjoy to watch and personally enjoy to work on, because as much as I do like making Reddit content, it does get a bit tedious at times. Because if you're doing it day in, day out, it's, you know, it's no longer fun to a certain extent. And sometimes it's just funner to share that with a mate who sucks at reading. So, and obviously I do agree with a lot of your guys' uh, criticisms. I'm not trying to deflect that or anything. I'm just saying, you know, I was just doing it for fun because that's, that's what I was doing. 